Hello. In this video, we'll talk about the feature of importing file hash exceptions. First, let's discuss what hash exception is. A hash exception enables you to override the verdict for a specific file without affecting the settings in your malware security profile. So the hash exception policy is evaluated first and takes precedence over all the methods to determine the hash verdict. Another way, for example, so if we want to configure a hash exception, uh, we can do that for different situations, such as we want to block a file that has a benign verdict. We want to allow a file that has a malware verdict, or we want to specify a verdict for a file that has not yet received an official verdict. And that's what we are going to discuss in this example. Hash exceptions are found under the Action Center. So if we go to the Incident Response Action Center, we will find the Block List and we will find the Allow List. When we configure the hash exception, whether for the Block List or for, for the Allow List, Cortex XCR distributed all the vertex at the next heartbeat communication with any endpoints that have previously opened the file. Then when a file launches or an endpoint, XDR, Cortex XDR agent first evaluates any relevant hash exception for the file, whether from the block list or for the allow list. Then the hash exception specifies whether to treat this file as malware or as benign. If the file is aside the benign verdict, the Cortex XDR agent permits it to run. If the verdict was not found in the block list or the allow list and does not have the verdict, then Cortex XDR used the multi step evaluation process in order to determine the verdict, and this process is by order uh, going to go through first the highly trusted signers, then the white file verdict and the local analysis. In our demo, we will talk about how to import hashes from endpoint security manager or from external feed, where we can initiate an action to do that. So if we need to add more than one hash at once to either the allow list or the block list or both of them together, we can do that in one step. And in order to do so, we need to initiate a new action from the new action button here. And if we see this is where to add the block list, this is when we can add an individual hash to the block list, or we can add the allow list when we can add an individual hash to the allow list. All hashes need to be SHA-256, MD5 is not supported. So again, we can do either to the block list or the allow list one by one. However, in our demo again, we're going to talk about how to add more than one hash either to the block list or the allow list or both of them together. And here we are going to talk about our feature here for importing the hash exceptions. If we see, once we click on this option, we'll be presented with this simple menu here to drag and drop a file. So if you do not have a file, there is a help here for us to download an example file. So if we click on the download for the example file, you will see the CSV file has been downloaded for you. So let's take that CSV file and try to import different examples for the hash and see how it looks like. If we open the file, the file is going to look like this, where you need to fill in those fields and that we are going to talk about. So first off, let me go ahead and save the file as you can choose any distinctive, just naming for that one. And we can save that as a demo for import hash exception. And then we can start filling the fields. Now, before we start filling up the fields, let's just take a minute and discuss each of these fields. So, take the space here real quick. So if we're going to talk about first the verdict, this is when we are going to define if this hash or this file, I need to identify this verdict for it as either benign or a malware. So if I would like to identify this specific file as benign, then I will put in the verdict value zero. If I want to identify this file as malware, then I will put in the verdict value here one. So this will add this one to the block list and I will have a block list entry. And if I put zero, it will add it to the allow list entry. That's for the vertex. So it's going to be either zero or one. <clears throat> then for the hash field, that is going to be or need to be a valid SHA-256. And in order for us to maintain a clean list, 
uh, we don't need to have any duplicates for these hashes within the same list and also we don't need to have any duplicates within this list and the existing hashes in the either the allow or the block list that we have in our tenant the name is the file name that's something that you specify and then the file type and we have the coded file types here for us from one to six as you can see here in the list as a quick note for the entries or for the number of hashes that we can add for each file we can add up to five the five thousand hashes or sha to sixes at once for each file now let's take an example for adding some sha256 values so let's grab an example for like four hashes and let's add two of them to the allow list for example and two of them to the block list so as we discussed in this list i want to take the first two for example to be the nine and i want to add them to the allow list so I will go to the verdict and I will write zero. I will also type zero for the first two because I choose to have those two added to the allow list. Now for the next two, I need to add those to the block list. So I will go again to the verdict and type one beside each of the hashes that I want to add to the block list or identify them as malware. Then it is uh, recommended just to keep the list maintained for you to add the names as well so I'm gonna add this test one and we'll do the same also for the rest of the files the file types for example I have the first one SPE and the rest are DLLs that's just an example so once you are done you just go ahead and save Make sure it is saved and now your file is ready to be imported if we go back here to the list we can either drag and drop the file here or we can browse the file here now the next step i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the file here so again let's make sure that we save this file and i will go ahead and drag and drop so you will see that the file was uploaded successfully. You can either remove it if you want to add any changes and add it back again. So on the comments, that's make sure this is a document that's going to be added to both or the vertex that have that are listed in this file. So I have a mix of both zero vertex and one vertex, which is the malware and the benign. This commit is going to be added to both lists. So we will add here demo comment import hash so we should see that comment when we import the file in both lists the allow and the block list why because we have those two vertex in the file that we are importing after we are done we just go ahead and click on next and then in the quick summary we will see here that all the endpoints selected why because we are doing a hash exception so that's going to impact all the endpoints and this is the comment that's here that's going to be displayed in both the block and the allow list. Why? Because if you look at the scope here, you will see that we are having two files will be added to the allow list and two of them will be added to the block list. So the file was read, the CSV file, and the system determined the, the number of vertex that need to be added to each list and what is the comment that's going to go with them. Everything looks good and we are happy with the summary and the results. Then we can go ahead and click on done. And then we should see our two vertex has been added to each list. So if we look at the allow list, we will see the first two that have been added with today's date. And that is the demo comment for the import hash for the first one and the second one. We should see the same thing if we go to the block list. Again, here we see the demo comment for the import hash and those are the two hashes that we add. Those will take effect and those will be distributed to the old endpoints that are using the file in the next heartbeat so with that this is conclude our demo for import hash exception thank you